see if I fold it just right. Hi, <laughs> my name is Elmo. <laughs> I think there's a, a certain stage in everybody's life where you're really concerned about, well, I can't do that because so-and-so will think that I'm too strange or so-and-so will think that that's weird. Are you sure you should be wearing an Elmo shirt? Well, yeah, I've chosen now because of who I am and, and what I like to do. I can choose to wear this. I'm in my 50s, what do I care? I don't know if that's a good or bad attitude, but that is the attitude. Whoa! There are a lot of things now that that some clowns do that if it were done in a normal person, it, it's frowned upon. Yeah, you can go buy a normal earring, but or you can have something that is predominantly different. When I don't have this in, I have a hole in my ear. When we're in clown, or in makeup, kids will come up and go, oh cool, you can see my hand through your ear. When I'm like this, kids come up to me and go, why, what, is that a hole in your ear? Being in clown, the biggest thing that changes for me is um, my acceptance as a person. I'm a 50 somewhat, you know, 50 plus fat woman. We're discriminated against every day as a clown. There is my frog. It's not a frog, is it? It's a dog. But it rhymes a frog. She has a pin that says, I'm in shape, round is a shape. The standard model is, you know, the size four or size two, whatever, but there's not very many of us out there. Laughing. Some people have really odd laughs. When you're a normal person, if you laugh weird, people are like, oh, that's the most obnoxious laugh I've ever heard. Where if you have that laugh and you're in clown, people look and they'll laugh with you. Being in clown allows you to have that with no hesitation. We lose that feeling of, of Am I going to get discriminated for this? You can be black, Asian, white, <laughs> green, any, any color person can be a clown, and it doesn't make any difference. When you draw in an imaginary character, you can have pink hair, you can have green hair, you can have turquoise hair, and that's where the clown is. You are part of the imagination. Society expects a clown to be different. They don't expect me, Carol, to be different. Isn't that horrible that society would have that much to do with what we do? Yeah. But it really does. You like it? Thank you. <laughs>